Are those guys ninjas? Well, they're certainly ninja-esque. I thought we were the only ninjas in this town. There aren't many years I remember as distinctly as 2003. I, mean, I was just starting college, they were making a new Terminator movie, and best of all, they were also making a new Ninja Turtle series. Actually, I don't remember almost anything else about 2003, but who cares? A new Ninja Turtle series? 2003? You, you are a year after my own heart. And of course, when the turtles are on TV, they end up everywhere else, too. I bought the action figures, the board games, the video game. At least I had the action figures and the board games. I mean, uh, listen, there was Mario Kart, F-Zero, Beautiful Joe, but as a GameCube owner, there wasn't a single game in 2003 I was more excited about than this one, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And it was developed by Konami, too, the company that also developed the arcade game, The Manhattan Project, Turtles in Time, all those great turtle games. So I figured, hey, how can this go wrong? See, back then I didn't understand yet. I was only a kid. I was like 19. I was still naive about the way things work. See, I thought, a game like this, a franchise like that, I bet they're going to go above and beyond. You know, I bet they're going to make this awesome. I mean, it was the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, it was also 2003, the year I learned the cold, hard truth about licensed video games. Yeah! I'll never forget it. I bought this crap, took it back to my place. I mean, I was seriously trembling with excitement. I told all my friends, hey, you guys gotta come play this. It's a new Ninja Turtles game. So, of course, they all ran in to play. I pop it in, we start playing it, we keep playing it, and then, and I'm not sure how long it was before one of them looked at the rest of us and said, dude, this kind of sucks. And they all agreed, but I refused. It couldn't be true. I wouldn't allow it. And I felt this strange, boiling anger begin to rise up inside of me as I screamed, get the f out of here then! Looking back, I knew they were right, but I just couldn't accept it. So I kept playing. Later that night, alone, I sat there, quietly, just staring at the menu screen. One of my friends, returning home for the night, walked over to me. He turned off the TV, he sat down next to me, and he hugged me. And then we went to Walmart, and we bought the action figures. We ate some pizza, and then we went to bed. I mean, I was okay, I was full, but I was never quite the same person. Now I'm mad! <laughs> Look, whatever, this is obviously a beat-em-up, much like the old Turtles games. Only this one's in 3D, unlike the old Turtles games. You know, I don't know what it is, too. You, you can take something that's perfectly good in 2D, but as soon as you add 3D, it turns into crap. Makes me think the entire universe was originally supposed to be in 2D, or something. In games like this, are the universe trying to prove a point? Anyway, you pick a turtle, you run around, you beat up the same enemies over and over, and smash boxes, which may or may not have health or power-ups. Then you get bored and the amount of time between the former and the latter is about 9.95 .9 seconds, dude. Out of my way, Nimrod! I mean, you only have like two or three attacks that you just keep doing by just keep mashing, that's it. And beat-em-ups are often shallow, but this is like sewer shallow. Like, it's only up to your ankles, and you don't even want to know what you're stepping on. And honestly, it's not that the gameplay is like technically bad, it's just boring. Boring and shallow, shallow and boring may or may not be standing in poop. And the thing is, you know, if you're gonna have gameplay like that, that's fine. Especially for a license like this one. As long as it nails the presentation and the gameplay's at least decent, you can still get by. The game doesn't do much in the presentation aspect either. I mean, it looks good. It's got a cool cell shaded style. Okay, that's fun. But the sound's awful. And it's got these repetitive one-liners and the bad music. And just in general, it, it doesn't present the series in a very exciting way. Like, it, like this game's as boring to look at as it is to play. And then again, to be honest, I, I mean, it's kind of fitting, because I wasn't all that into the 2003 series. I wasn't that into Terminator 3 either. And then I blew my chance with a girl in English class. Man, 2003 sucked. This game didn't help matters either. I laid there, in my bunk bed, wondering why Konami would ever do what they'd done. Why make such a... Why would you make such a boring, crappy beat-em-up We you could make an awesome Ninja Turtles beat-em-up? What were they even thinking? And whatever happened to Christiana Loken? We don't know. We may never know. But these are the questions 2003 left with. Questions and... Hugs from dudes. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the original Xbox. Next to Victor from Brooklyn, New York. For sending this to the show. I'm gonna need another hug. 
Victor. 